Yeah, you found me in the garden today. Uh, speaking of gardens, don't you find a lot of peace and quiet and calm when you're in the garden? And, and it, it's a pretty nice thing. Uh, I wanted to share with you another story. It's a Zen story. Uh, if you watch the Stonecutter, then you know a Zen story sometimes doesn't really have an answer. And this is one of those stories. Uh, okay, here we go. Once upon a time, <laughs> all good stories start that way. Uh, <clears throat> Once upon a time, there was a very strong woodcutter. He asked for a job from a timber merchant, and he got it. The pay was very good, and his co-workers were very nice. So the woodcutter really wanted to do his very best. Do you know what it feels like to want to do your very best? It is hard work, but it sure feels great when you see that trying your best makes a big difference. Yeah. Uh, anyway, his boss gave him an ax and showed him the area of the forest where he was to work. The first day, the woodcutter cut down 18 trees. That's like uh, more fingers than this. That is a lot of trees. His boss was extremely impressed. And he said, well done. Keep it up. You are our best woodcutter yet. Well, that made him feel pretty good. He got excited by his boss's words. The woodcutter tried even harder the next day, but he only cut down 15 trees. Huh. He cut down less, but worked harder. The third day, he tried even harder, but he only cut down 10 trees. Well, that's less than 15 and less than 18. Huh. Day after day, the woodcutter cut down fewer and fewer trees. His boss came to him and told him that if he did not chop down more trees each day, you will lose your job. The woodcutter needed the job, so he tried harder and harder. He worked during the lunch breaks and during his bathroom breaks, but still he could not cut down enough trees. I must be losing my strength, the woodcutter thought to himself. He worked and worked, but still, it was not enough. Eventually, his boss came to him and told him, You are fired! The woodcutter was really upset, but he knew he had tried his very best. And he worked as hard as he could, but he just did not have enough time to chop more trees. He sadly handed his axe back to the boss. And the boss looked at the axe. He looked at the blade. He looked at the man, and he asked, Hey, when was the last time that you sharpened your axe, sir? The woodcutter looked at him and replied, uh, Sharpening my axe? Well, I have never sharpened my axe. I have been too busy trying to cut down enough trees. Huh. Well, that's the end of the story. Some of these stories, sometimes you have to think about the end a little bit. Yeah, I wonder, what do you think the story means? I have some of my ideas, but I'd like to hear yours. I hope you'll think about this story next time you're trying to do your very best. All right, until next time, I'll see you later. Have a great day. There's a dog barking. Hey, Mr. Diltz, there's a dog barking. It's okay, bud. Well, uh, I think he's coming to get me. He's not coming to get you, bud. Uh, I don't know. Okay, I'll see you later.